So today's video is another unplanned video uh, because I got version 55 now. And uh, so we're going to talk about that. Now, when I actually came in here, it didn't seem like anything was different. Uh, the first thing I noticed though was I turned on the headset and instead of just immediately you know, opening up like it normally does with the little meta symbol, uh, there was this weird little box. It had an arrow pointing down with some weird lines around it. Never seen that before. So I assumed it meant it was updating up. something. Um, took a few seconds and then it loaded like it normally does with the little meta symbol. This is usually what comes out. It's the explore uh, icon here. And you know, this came up and I didn't see anything different and I jumped into the menu and I didn't see anything different. But because of that weird little quirk that occurred in the beginning, I checked to see and it says no updates available. But if you look down here, it's because it already updated. It's version 55. I have 54 based on what we were told in other YouTube videos. Because, you know, YouTubers, uh, they uh, tend to get access to this stuff early and they get the stock footage and they always talk about this. And to be honest, lately it's it's been getting on my nerves because they always say all these things and then the actual update occurs. Well, I get the update and half the stuff isn't even there. So let's just try to address what actually changed. So first off, um, if we come to the menu here, it's exactly the same. Okay. One of the things they talked about was that this icon here that allows you to kind of sort through that that was disappearing it's still there thankfully hopefully it doesn't change um, however I did notice a did uh, change that's actually kind of nice so notice when I go to explore nothing happens but when I go to settings guide and then I go through some of these apps you see these little three dots I didn't have that before in order for that to show up I actually had to go into here and then you would see the three dots over here. So what that allows you to do is to either pin or unpin these icons. But they still haven't changed anything with that in the sense that things like the explore icon and the store, you cannot unpin, okay? And the people icon, apparently you can't unpin either. Notice the three dots don't show up. So out of the five, available spaces you really only can customize two hasn't changed that was that happened with 54 as well but at least now you can kind of do it here they mentioned in the updates when they actually talk about it is that you can now move a lot faster and it's going to have more power i'm not techie so i don't know what any of that means um supposedly things are smoother I don't see it so far. Um, they they talked about something which I think, let's see, is it in here? Oh, that's another thing. So they, they mentioned that when recording, things are gonna be smoother. Well, I just saw some some stuff happen here. So I don't know. I don't know if that's actually changing. Um, and by stuff, I mean like it sputters, like the image gets all wonky for a second. Like it's like it's uh, struggling to actually do what it's doing. So I haven't seen a change there. Did it again. You can't see it on the video, you never really can. But when you go from one menu to the other, like the whole world kind of shifts a little bit. Um, is what it is. Now, what I do want to test, MetaQuest Guide, let's see if they updated that. Okay, uh, what's new? Okay, so the last time I had checked this was probably two weeks ago, and this was the last thing that they showed. So now they're showing uh, version 55. So from what I could tell, I think I'm one of the last people to actually get version 55 because they're already talking about version 56. So, but I haven't opened this yet. I want to see what they actually say. Okay, quest performance improvements. See, you know, everybody talked about that. Smoother gameplay, all this nonsense. 
uh, these performance improvements. See, I, I don't really know what that means. Um, I don't quite understand what this is doing. Is it just saying that the image is going to look the same quality but as a bigger size? Um, meaning it's not going to blur the closer you get to it? I don't know. Um, we'll, we'll check out some things in a moment. We're adding the ability to use a passcode to unlock your device. I see that doesn't really that doesn't do anything for me. I don't my my device is always unlocked because I'm the only one that uses it. Messenger and VR, all right. We're, we're updating. See, I don't use that either, so it doesn't affect me. People you follow are on. People you follow are online indicator. That is not a sentence. You'll now see agreement. See, I don't follow anyone either. Explore redesign. We're gradually rolling out an experimental design with new content for the default landing page in VR Explore. Uh, so you can improve it. Okay. So Instagram, I don't do that either. So I'm guessing this icon um, is going to start looking different. Let's see. Easier avatar editing in real time. We made it easier to travel to the mirror in your Horizon home. Easier to travel to the mirror. Okay, I think okay, that, that's not gonna affect me. Use hands on notifications. We're graduating on a new way to interact with notifications. See, I don't really do the notifications either. New virtual environments. See, this is kind of dumb because Futurescape came out in 54 with version 54. So, why are they saying it's coming out? I don't get it, I, I don't understand. Um, and then I heard that there's one that if you pre-order some, which game is it? The, they'll say it here. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go, Asgard's Wrath 2. I didn't do that, so that's not gonna affect me either. Um, browser multi-touch. So that I, I, I wanna check out at some point, see if that works, although to be honest, I didn't really use it that much anyway. And that's it, that's all they're saying. So let's go and back to explore uh, it looks exactly the same so I'm guessing they haven't at least not for my headset they haven't actually uh, updated that part yeah it's all the same pretty much all right oh did I break it yeah, it's slower. I swear it's slower. It, it, things are reacting much slower than they were before. So I don't understand what this whole, you know, more power and speed is all about. Um, what was the other thing? The browser, right? So that looked like some kind of map thing. So let's, let's just go to Google Maps, I guess. See if that actually works. And uh, if this is a bust or I'm doing something wrong and I figure it out later, I'll just edit this out. You get out of the way. You come over here. So I believe the idea is that you can... Oh, look at that. But the thing is, I don't know if you could do that before. You know? Like... I honestly don't know if, if that was something that could be done before. But all I'm doing is... Oh, there goes that... that uh, stuttering again see it's not working better it might even be working worse because i usually don't have this happen unless i'm actually in a game and right now i'm not in a game but anyway um the idea is i'm you know clicking on this to move it like i normally would but if i use the other i can zoom in and out fantastic i really don't know if i was able to do that before um, how much of it affects for me personally not at all but oh again see when I go from one menu to another you can't see it on the video but it's like everything lags out for a second and then kind of shifts before it goes back to normal so I don't really see any improvements to this with version 55 now what I did here was that if you, you know, it's going to allow for uh, like a, a better visual for a lot of the games, but the actual developers have to go in and, and update. So, like, 
I don't know what it's supposed to do. And as I said, I feel like I'm the last person to get this because everybody else seems to have gotten it. And now they're talking about version 56. So we'll see. Um, uh, at this point, it's like these updates are just gimmicks. It's just a way of, of trying to keep people interested, I guess. Um, let's, let's jump into a game and see what happens. See if it looks any better. All right. Um, I see no difference. Like, there's no noticeable difference here. Maybe, again, maybe it just needs to be updated. What was the thing that they said? Oh, that's right. So let's check out one of their actual environments, like Futurescape here. Which is funny because they claim that it's coming out in version 55, but we got it in version 54. Some people got it before version 54. It just came out on its own. I don't see any more access points. And I don't see the whole, you know, accessing the mirror part uh, any quicker. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I see nothing, no change. It's slow. Um, yeah, it's actually slower. All right. I'm sitting down in case you're wondering. I'm not actually that short. I mean, I'm pretty short, but not that short. That doesn't even look like me. So yeah, uh, I gotta say, V55 is kind of a bust. It's like... It's like nothing happened. Now, maybe I just didn't get all the features yet, but honestly, they, they don't even talk about much. Now, at some point, I'll, I'll play some of these games again and check it out, see if there's anything you know, noticeable. You can tell me on paper, oh yeah, that it's 20% this, 25% that. If I don't see it, it, has, it doesn't affect me, so therefore it's, it didn't really do anything. No, but yeah, I guess that's it. That's, uh, yeah, so it's kind of a bust, unfortunately. Okay, so if you go to experimental, I did notice this. That's new. I didn't see that before. Wi-Fi refresh. Enable a new look and feel for your Wi-Fi settings. Uh, let's see what it actually does. Okay. Let's see what happens if it's still the same. Ah, okay, so it did change it. Okay. So this is what it looks like originally. So now let's go back over here and enable it again. And then yeah, so that's all it did. So it just changes so it looks more like everything else you see through the through this headset, as opposed to like some weird like phone thing that popped up. Maybe in another two or three months, I'll get version 56, because I think version 56 is supposed to come out in July. But it seems I'm getting them late now, so... We'll see, maybe we get something... You know what would be nice? Another new environment, like they promised. That would be nice. Or at the very least, go back into some of these older environments and, and you know, do some stuff. Like, uh, let's see, like here. Add some more points so that I can actually sit on that sofa. That would be nice, you know? This is as close as I can get to the sofa, but whatever. Um, so yeah, that's what I got for you. Uh, version 55, not much of a difference, no matter how much they claim it is. Um, doesn't seem to do much. Now, you know, maybe later on down the line, before version 56 comes along, it might actually mean something if these uh, game developers, you know, use whatever changes they made, uh, update their games so that it's 
you know, that, that additional speed or power, or whatever they want to call it, makes a difference. But for now, it's just more of the same. You know, there's not much difference. Nothing looks crisp or, or smooth. It looks exactly the same. I would never have noticed that I got 55 unless I had seen that initial, uh, you know, that weird little loading thing, which prompted me to actually check to see that I have version 55. But yeah, so that's it. That's all I wanted to talk about. Um, you know, if you found this video informative or entertaining, well, that was entertaining. But if you found it informative, at least, uh, leave a like. Uh, if you want to see more, subscribe. You know, do something to encourage me to continue doing this. Or if you think I should stop, leave a comment. Um, won't make any promises on that, though. So, uh, with any luck, I'll see you in the next video. And until then, take care.